Well, hey everybody, this is TJ with RV on Purpose, and I am exhausted. We've been working nonstop for the last two weeks, and uh, we're still not done. <laughs> um, we're getting ready for our trip to go to Disney World, and I'm the type of person that likes to get things done and get them done right now, and uh, it's just not going to get done, and uh there's nothing we can really do about it, um, and it's probably going to bother me during the whole trip, which is uh, it's frustrating, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the majority of it is done, but there's still a lot to do, a lot of trim work, um, just uh, little odds and ends, and it just never ends. We've decided that uh, my wife and I, when we get a house, um, we're just going to buy one already done. We're not going to do the work, and we don't want to buy something that needs work. Because it's just too much. Um, so, uh, what should I show you? How can I show you this? So, this is the hallway here. Um, got this wall all done, but you can see this little spot here. The plumbing access panel. Haven't quite decided what to do there yet. Um, we've talked about a picture, um, putting like a vent there, uh, something that'll cover that spot. We had something before that with the wood, same kind of wood, but it just didn't look right because um, the way the pipes come out of the wall, it just just wasn't really jiving. So. Um, we did get it done though. Um, we got the, the ceiling done in the closet and in the entire back here. Um, that was quite a process because the boards weren't uh, quite straight. So as you can tell, I'm really, really tired. I work a dot stop. Um, we do have a, uh, a snowstorm coming in right now and they're calling for a lot of snow. I'm speaking at a church on Saturday night for Christmas Eve, and Helena's doing some music. We're doing it together, actually, so I shouldn't say she's doing that, and I'm doing this. We're doing it together. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, we still have, like, the decorative pieces to get on the bunks. Um, you can see here in the background there's a, kind of a gray border goes along there some of the old vinyl still there haven't got that off yet just uh there's just so much to do and and then also the the curtains each bunk has its own curtains and then they snap those uh panels help them to snap in so there's a lot of like finish work um kind of thing um and you can also see here like you know you can see where right here where my hand is this is where one of those panels would go and then these curtains will snap into the uh you know the oh, it's so hard to do with this will snap into little snaps so we need to get rid of these this bunk here or this this cover and then we're gonna have it be some kind of decorative pine i think um, I did get the smoke detector up and carbon monoxide detector because that's important. Um, the bunks are still full, um, have stuff in them. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's quite a deal. We did get this. I got this little switch I put in here for the pump. Got it all wired in so when you turn it on it lights up which is kind of cool. And then I also put in this dimmer switch for this light. Which this light is actually like a heater back here because it's got the mason jars on the top so it really i mean when you get close to this thing like right here i can just feel the heat it's just buzzing with heat so it's kind of its own little heater back here kind of nice um and then uh you know we put in i gotta get there, there's some lighting i was gonna do in here um you know it's just one of those things where it just uh it didn't happen yet but we got little dressers that we put in and uh, you can see those 
Um, they're all bolted down um, and secure. I also uh, put up this pole, so all the boys, we have four boys, so, you know, there's a lot of clothes. So um, we're hoping that this whole area, excuse me, will be, um, will be their, their bedroom. So kind of cool. Um, but uh, again, it's just not quite finished. There's some wires back here that I have to figure out what I'm going to do with or how I'm going to cover those, you know, and uh, it's just a lot. It's overwhelming, honestly. Um, but I did replace the wooden wooden closet here with a metal one because it was more heavy duty. You can see it's not bowing like the other one was. So I kind of changed that out. I also put a decorative piece of wood behind. You can't really see it now with all our clothes here. But I um, just kind of covered up some some trim area there. I did do that. So this closet needs some touch-up paint um, here and there. Um, you know, just from doing some of this work. Uh, some of the paint got messed up. But we got the drawers in. And those drawers are secured and good. But again, um, because our bedroom is tore up still, it's uh, there's nowhere to put things. And so it's, um, it's just a frustrating situation. That's all I can tell you. So right now, I am putting up... Uh, some furring strips trying to maneuver the wires in an area where we can cover them and uh, I did get the ceiling done in here today um, right before the snow kind of went crazy so you can see here um, that went pretty well the the ceiling looks really good I think um, but there's still a lot to do with the walls of the whew. You can tell I'm tired in the in the back headboard, you know. So yeah, it's just been a lot of late nights. Um, it's uh, it's been just in and out, cutting and outside, and you know me outside, Helena in here, uh, handing stuff through the windows. Um, no room to work really. Um, our bed is just covered, and you know just like all this stuff and it's just like like right now i'm thinking okay i'm gonna try to finish some of these furring strips and get those at least on the walls um and then i'll know what else i need and then and then uh you know i just kind of want to go to bed and uh, get some rest because it's a lot of work and we're gonna be going on our trip and i wanted to have our bedroom nice and and, and ready um so i'm a little frustrated with that you know i'm speaking saturday night at revive bible church if you're in the area in the delton Michi michigan area love to have you come out and worship with us um all i can say is uh whatever projects you're working on share them below uh, put a link below uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel um, that really would help us and i uh, just appreciate everything that you guys do for us and uh, thank you and have a great night and we'll see you soon